Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit more chatty one. I'm still going to be doing my makeup, but I won't focus that much on it because in my Instagram stories, I ask you to assume things about me. And now I'm gonna be getting ready, I'm gonna be doing my makeup while telling you if your assumptions are right or wrong. I wanted to do a Q&A, but I think that you assuming things about me and me telling you if they're true or not is a little bit more fun. It's just I know it's it's a different kind of a Q&A it's a different way to kind of get to know each other a little bit better and it's nice to know what you guys assume about me I haven't seen your assumptions yet because I did that story two hours ago so you know I wanted it to be kind of like a surprise you know I didn't want it to know what what was coming for me so uh, yeah without losing any time let's go ahead and get started because I'm curious to know what you guys Send me. You can watch this video while getting ready. You can watch this video while chilling in a, in a face mask on your couch. Anyways, however you decide to watch this video, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna start off with some foundation. Foundation! I'm gonna mix some of my milk makeup foundation in the shade, what is it, light? With the Huda Beauty Short Bread. I'm gonna get so covered today. These two foundations have super duper extra full coverage. So mixing them both, that's gonna get me camouflaged really good. I have that mixture on the back of my hand and before I apply it on my face, let's see what you guys assume about me. You've always been the popular girl in school. Oh no, <laughs> I was the invisible girl in school. No one knew about my existence. It was, it was really nice. You're a model, I got this twice. Why? Do I look like a model? Thank you guys, but no, <laughs> I'm not a model. I'm very, very far away from the requirements of being a model. You see my mirror a little bit there, sorry for that. There are days that I love using full coverage foundations and there are other days that I feel like going with something more light, like light to medium covering products, it's just... I don't know, it really depends on my mood, it really depends on the look that I'm going for. Today, I'm going for full glam <laughs> and I want I want everything to be as flawless as possible. Like if I'm going for some kind of an everyday kind of look, I would definitely wear a very lightweight foundation. I would definitely wear something more sheer. I'm pretty sure I messed up the shade of my foundation. I'm almost certain that instead of light in the milk foundation, I used the shade medium. Let's see what else you guys think of me. I assume you rather try to understand people than to judge them. Well, yeah, it's really difficult to switch your mind and try to understand people before judging them. It's just important to catch yourself like judging others and you know, being mean in your head because judging, it's not, it's not the nicest thing ever. Um, it's important to catch yourself doing that and when you do, that's the time that you wanna try to understand, okay, so why did he or she did that? Or why, you know, that happened, you know? By the way, I'm gonna have all of the products that I'm using down in the description box so that if you guys are curious what I'm using, you can just go and check it out. Um, and by the way, if you haven't seen my eyebrow tutorial, you can go and watch it now or maybe after this video is over. I tried to cover as many things as possible and trying to be as helpful as possible. You will definitely say, hey guys, whoa, <laughs> you got that right. You're really kind to your siblings and you give them your makeup. I really wish I had siblings. I really wish I had a sister, maybe two sisters. A brother would be also nice, but I don't have any siblings. If I had, I would definitely give them my makeup and teach them how to do makeup. And they could teach me how to do other things, things that they would be good at. You're fluent in three languages. Yes, Bulgarian, Greek, and English. I feel like I know Greek better than English because my boyfriend is Greek. We're all the time talking in Greek, which is so weird because I started learning English um, I don't know, from a very young age, maybe since I was seven or something, they started teaching us in school and I decided that I wanted to learn Greek so much later. You've always wanted a pet when you were young, but your parents didn't get you one. No, I actually had so many pets throughout my childhood. And I'm gonna be honest, my parents weren't always happy with that. <laughs> so I don't know if I told you that story um, before. So. When I was young, I had two hamsters. 
The one was a boy, the other was a girl, and they were separated in different cages. And one day, I noticed that the girl was getting a little bit more, um, how to say, <laughs> her belly was, her belly was looking um, larger than the normal. And then I don't know, maybe maybe a week after, um, she gave birth to thirteen little babies. 13 i actually don't remember if there were 11 babies so with the parents they make total of 13 or there were 13 babies and with the parents they were 15 i don't know but it was that crazy number and i don't know if you guys have seen baby hamsters i don't recommend you to google that <laughs> they don't have any fur and you can basically see through their skin <laughs> i was so young and that that image of seeing the little babies just being born it left a scar in my mind i also had four parrots yep four of them as you can guess it was quite noisy in the house all the time and at the same time there was also a cat in the house then before that my like my first pet was fish we had a huge tank full of fishes i don't know how many they were but the tank was like 80 liters or something it was huge and we had extra tank of it was it was smaller but it was for the baby fishes there and we had those kind of fish that they weren't laying eggs but they were giving birth and my mom was obsessed she was so careful with the baby fish um you can't even imagine she was staying the whole night taking care of the baby fish because once the fish gave birth to her babies there was a huge chance of her eating her babies which is so cruel so my mom was staying the whole night making sure that the mother doesn't eat her babies i don't know i'm talking about um pet babies so much today i had i had a lot of pets but i've never had a dog and now that i'm you know getting a little bit older i want to have a dog i want to have one maybe two maybe three for, I don't know, I want to have as many of them as possible, also a cat. Right now we're living in a apartment, it's quite small and I don't think that it's a good idea getting a dog now. I think that when you get a pet, you also need to, to make sure that they're going to be happy in the place that they are. I think that every dog deserves a yard to be free and do whatever they want. So, yep. I'm pretty sure that you're wondering what happened to all of those hamsters. <laughs> um, we gave them to friends and family. They were all okay. I I wouldn't let anything bad happen to them. I assume that you had braces on your teeth when you were younger. Yep, I had braces on my teeth. I wore them for about... I'm so bad at remembering, you know, time durations. Um, but I had them for about a year and in a few months you have a sweet tooth <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> i don't have just one sweet tooth no don't underestimate me i have whole 32 sweet teeth okay i love sweet i i love sweet that's it i just that's the truth i'm trying to cut them off i'm trying to put limits to myself but you guys when i know that there is ice cream in the fridge I just can't think of anything else. Can you imagine that little guy freezing inside there? I can't let it suffer. I need to put it in a nice warm place like my tummy. <laughs> you don't like the color pink. I used to hate the color pink when I was a kid. I don't know what, what it was. Now I don't really mind it. I like it. I like wearing it on my eyes. And I love that dusty pink color. I'm gonna insert a photo here of the exact shade of of pink that I love. It's just so pretty. I want to use some of the new Huda Beauty palettes today. I already did a tutorial with the blue one on my Instagram. I actually loved how that look came out. Um, if you guys haven't seen it yet, you can go and check it out on my Instagram. This is the red one and this is the, oops, this is the orange one. So why my viewfinder kind of stuck? I see nothing. You guys see me? I don't see myself <laughs> anyways i'm gonna play with the red one today this is the ruby i'm gonna place this shade here in my crease you live alone and eat healthy nope i live with my boyfriend and about the eating healthy thing oh my gosh um look 
I'm trying. I'm doing my best. There are days that I love eating pizza for breakfast. There are days that I love eating cereal for dinner. And let me tell you, cereal for dinner is the best thing ever. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible. There are days that I'm absolutely the worst. For the most part, I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible. And I don't let those days that I'm eating all bad food put me down. I'm always trying to go back and, you know, be as healthy as possible. You hate seafood. Uh, but look, I don't eat seafood really often. I'm just gonna grab this shade now. I can't say that I hate it. I mean, I I don't know. It really depends how it, it's cooked. You know, if it's cooked by somebody who knows what they're doing, um, I like it. If it's cooked by me, I hate it. I think that seafood is a little bit more tricky to cook. I think that it's more, it's for more advanced cooks. You're still in your teens. Uh, that's how I feel, but I'm not. You have a boyfriend who cares about you a lot. Yes, he cares about me more than I care about me, okay? You speak Russian? Yet. No, I don't speak Russian. I know a few words because Bulgarian is kind of close to Russian, but no, I don't know for any Russian. I'm assuming you will use a new product in your next video. Well, I think that that counts. I'm gonna use this shade all over my eyelid. People constantly ask you to do their makeup. This is true. People constantly ask me to do their makeup, but I don't do freelance at the moment. I love this shade. Oh my God, it's so creamy. question that I got. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> you have a lot of friends? No, I actually don't have a lot of friends. I have a few and um, they're all good people. You like Indian food? I've never actually tried Indian food. Can you believe that? Oh my god, this brush is not doing the job at all. I've seen how people prepare it on YouTube. Um, I love watching um, Indian street food videos on YouTube. These guys are, they're amazing. Um, but yeah, I've never been to a Indian restaurant. I've never tried Indian food. I would love to. I love trying out different foods so much. And my boyfriend is the exact opposite. He likes pasta. He doesn't feel the need of trying anything else. He can eat pasta for the rest of his life and he's going to be so happy. But I actually love trying out different things. You eat a lot. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what makes you think that. <laughs> you have more makeup than you know what to do with it. Yes, <laughs> this is true. I feel really lucky to get a lot of makeup in PR, but as it's not enough, I also like buying a lot of makeup. So, yeah, I have, I have a few products in my drawers. <laughs> you really like pasta? Mm-hmm, yep, I do. <laughs> I feel like you have seen some of my vlogs, but yeah, I love pasta. My boyfriend actually got me obsessed on pasta. I wasn't really that addicted to it before I met him, but um, yeah, pasta is life. I'm gonna take this shade here and I'm gonna add it in the inner half of my eye. You like Marvel movies or if you haven't seen any of them yet, you would like them. Well, let me tell you, I have seen all of them and I love all of them. I also like the series The 100. We have seen all of the episodes. If you don't know about them, go watch them on Netflix. So, so good. Definitely would recommend it to you. They have like five seasons or something. Oh, look at those red eyes. Oh, <laughs> this didn't sound good. Okay, Um. anyways. You're a cat person. No, I love them all. I'm a, I'm a cat person. I'm a dog person. I'm a hamster person. I'm a, I'm a parrot person. I'm whatever pet you can think of person. <laughs> I assume YouTube and Insta are your full-time careers. Yep, that's true. You don't have any tattoos. Yes, I don't have any. You love eating food, <laughs> but you don't like making it. Yes, that's so true. This human knows me so well. Is this my boyfriend? No, no, I'm just kidding, it's not. You have a huge fear of flying cockroaches. No, a huge fear, no. I don't fear them that much. I mean, they can't do anything bad to me, you know, they can't harm me, but 
I just prefer them far away from me. I prefer not seeing them. <laughs> Your favorite fruit is strawberry. No, um, it's actually my favorite fruit. I've never thought of that. What's my favorite fruit? Banana, I guess. Banana! <laughs> I'm assuming you're a clumsy person. You're assuming, right? Everything that I decide to grab with my hands has 99% chance of falling down on the ground and breaking. That's how clumsy I am. Also, anything that is around me has 99% chance of being destroyed within within seconds, okay? I don't know why is that. I sometimes feel like I can't control my hands and my entire body. Okay, I need to move on with my makeup. One thing that you didn't know about me, I can't multitask. You're talkative, but only with people you you already know. Yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm a little bit shy sometimes with new people. I need a little bit time to kind of warm up and um, be able to, to open up and have a normal conversation without being awkward. You have a license to drive a car. I do, but I don't, I rarely drive the car. I'm too scared for me and for the people around me. It has to be an emergency for me to drive. I am so scared of driving. I don't feel confident in my driving skills. So Sigma recently came up with this sculpt highlight and contour palette. They also have a blush palette so I want to try them out today. I'm gonna contour with the shade called Faking It right here. Hello, cheekbone, long time no see, how are you doing? Why is everybody connecting me to food? <laughs> I have so many of you assuming that I love food, like I, of course I do, food is amazing. Do you eat diet or do you do dieting? Do you eat diet or do you do dieting? Huh? You're afraid of the dark, oh yes. My neighbor assumes that I have great neighbors. Well, of course I do. My neighbor once gave me her eggs. If you've never watched my second channel, you have no idea what I'm talking about and probably you're really confused right now, but here I'm gonna insert a clip so we can clean the situation. <laughs> we need two eggs, oil and water. We don't have eggs. What are we doing now? I have the best neighbor Ever. <laughs> if you're watching this, I know that you're watching it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your eggs. Oh, this one is good. She challenged me. Okay, I have to do that. And the advice of Tome Pitihia Puine Stylinica Se para dejome. Me para dejese. You can drive well. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Dropping things all the time. You watched Full the Empire Dire. The Vampire Dire. <laughs> the Vampire Diaries series. The Vampire Diaries series. No, I actually haven't haven't seen not even a single episode of those. I assume that you prefer using flats than high heels. Absolute true. Do you prefer online shopping? Oh, this is actually a question. Do you prefer online shopping or in store? I love online shopping. It's so much easier though to spend more money on um, getting things that you don't really need, but that's another topic. It's so much easier. You're just sitting on your couch buying stuff. I hate that I have to wait for a while to receive my order, but at the same time, it's kind of like exciting because you're expecting something. All right, let's see some last assumptions. You are not a morning person. I actually am a morning person. I woke up today at 6.30. I don't say that it's easy waking up that early. It's not at all, but I get more things done if I wake up early, so that's why I'm doing it. You wear Mickey Mouse pajamas. No, it's actually SpongeBob. <laughs> you never thought 
that you would get so big and famous on YouTube. Well, I don't want to say that I'm big and famous on YouTube, but I never thought that I would reach 1 million followers on Instagram and 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Like, that's, that's so insane. And I'm so thankful that you guys enjoy watching my videos, you like watching me showing you how to do your makeup. I really appreciate how kind and sweet you guys are. I just... Thank you guys for being here. Okay, I think that it's time to end this video because I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a long one. So hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, as always, don't forget to press that bell button right next to the subscribe button because that way you're gonna be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. All of the links down in the description box. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!